First tonight, parents sounding off over the decision to close the Henry Barnard School at Rhode Island College. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. Rick announced yesterday it would close the laboratory school for good next year, citing financial constraints caused by the coronavirus pandemic. But some parents we spoke with tonight say there have been warning signs for months that this was coming and they're frustrated that they were left in the dark. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshuto joins us with the story that's new tonight. I spoke to two parents who say they're not only frustrated about the closure, but how it was addressed. They tell me parents started asking questions months ago about the school's future, and they were never given a direct answer. The Henry Barnard School on the Rhode Island College campus will close next year, the college announced earlier this week. President Frank Sanchez says it's one of many things Rick has to do to address a projected $10.4 million deficit. Parents of students at the lab school are questioning the real reasons behind the closure. We had had some, a, a group of parents had had some concerns just because we've had an interim principal for two years. We weren't sure why they weren't hiring or looking for a permanent principal. Anna Wang says parents were left out of the conversation. She says the college should have been upfront about the financial issues, especially when she says so many parents would have been willing to help. Hey, let's work together here. We value the school. We know you do too. Parent Katie Chu agrees the administration was not transparent. And I feel like over the last several months, um, that has, we have just been let down. Both parents love the school and say they want their kids to stay there to continue Henry Barnard's legacy. In a statement about the closure, Sanchez said in part, as president, my job is to make difficult decisions that will enable the college to continue accomplishing our core mission, which is to provide a high quality, affordable college education and the opportunity for a better life to generations of students in Rhode Island and beyond. It calls into question what is the larger responsibility of Rhode Island College and to what degree did they actually live up to that responsibility? Rhode Island College says enrollment at Henry Barnard has fallen more than 40 percent since 2017. The parents say they are not giving up. They're looking for ways to keep the school open. Reporting in the control room, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.